Welcome back. Um, now we're doing B part two with the idioms. Um, but first, B, bigbusinessenglish.com. What is that? What is that? Uh, Robert is the number one business English teacher in Italy. Penso come siamo ridotti in Italia. And uh, no, look, you know, it, 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 he, it, 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 <laughs> he has a site. It's called bigbusinessenglish.com. Do you want to tell them? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, but first. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. C'è pubblicità under the table. Oh, oh sorry. Table. Okay. Thank you. Whoa, Stelline. Yeah. Non vale niente. Da quando c'è Brexit. Look at the Queen. E la regina. Cioè, allora, è come il copertino del mio libro, Real Life English. Yeah. Non l'ho fa fatto apposta per fare pubblicità. No, non voglio no, no. fare pubblicità. Yeah. No, non l'ho fatto. Yeah. Not about real non life ho detto English. che è solo yeah. 16 euro adesso su Amazon e yeah. a tutti i 5 stelle di recensioni. Non l'ho detto perché sarebbe volgare. Quindi certo. non dico di andare su Amazon e comprare Real Life English. Perché dovrei farlo? And on the, uh, io stavo male quando hanno fatto la copertina no? mm. del libro Real Life English. Certo. And they said, can you send a photo? And I was like, no, I can't. So I said, just use an old photo. Yeah. Hanno usato un foto di me. Uh, dopo vi faccio vedere. Uh, sembra mio figlio. Sembra mio... <laughs> Ed è bruttissimo. <laughs> perché io arrivo alla presentazione del libro, no? E ci sono io, photoshopatissimo. Photoshop, sembra Brad Pitt. <laughs> vent'anni fa <laughs> e sono lì e poi arrivo io e dicono ah guarda che bello ha portato anche il papà per <laughs> eh, capito uguale la regina e eh? non yeah. è mica così la regina uh, adesso eh. uh, you know. è sempre sempre giovane la regina yeah she's always young you know in England well in my school uh, they, they, I remember the teacher would say in Buckingham Palace where the queen lives um, they, if there are 230 rooms, mm. esempio, no? Don't write to me now saying, no, non è vero, sono 300, I don't know, I'm just guessing, <laughs> all right, okay? Um, and, and, uh, but there's no toilet. Oh. Because the queen doesn't need a toilet, right? She's the queen. Oh. Ecco. Wow. I know. Anyway, so, big business English, dici la cosa c'è. Okay. BigBusinessEnglish.com uh, is my new website. Uh, parlo in inglese. Is that a de? Okay, I'll parlo in inglese. I speak in English. Yeah? BigBusinessEnglish.com is a new website for people who want to learn business English. It's got resources, it's got a network, membership, sign up, iscriviti, and um, it's very useful. It's free, it doesn't cost anything to sign up. And there will be regular articles about business English, meetings, telephoning, grammar, everything that you need. Bigbusinessenglish.com. Right. There you go. I've sì. said it now. Sto cercando di farle entrare al prossimo idiom. Uh, and if you go to uh, bigbusinessenglish.com, after you see what Rob has put on the site, mm. you'll be on cloud nine. Oh. Uh -huh. Mm. To be on cloud nine, essere sulla nuvola numero 9, bello, è carino. Cioè a volte traducendo le cose ti rendi conto, um, it, vuol dire felicissimo, sulla luna, sulla luna. Ah, but wait, because we also say he's over the moon. Noi diciamo mm. è sopra la luna per, essere, per dire è felicissimo. The Italian say uh, è sulla luna, sulla luna loro dicono, quindi simile. But we also say, oh my God, I'm on cloud nine. No, è di più, è di più. It will dire ecstasy, nirvana. Mm. Uh, it's like, I'm, oh my God, uh, she's on cloud nine. She's like, oh, ecstasy, euphoric, no? I wonder Definitely. why we say, I wonder, um, uh, mi chiedo. Mm. I wonder why we say cloud nine. The What's on cloud eight? Yeah. Good Who's question. on cloud Ten. Very good. There is a song, uh, old song, because we're old. Adam. Uh, no. no, even older than that. Okay. Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger. Uh, again, sempre giovane. Hey, you, G 
get off my cloud. Oh, Do you know that song? Yeah. Old song, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, you, get off my cloud. Yeah. Yeah, great yeah. song, great song. Mick Jagger. Non c'entra niente, però è una bella canzone. Yeah. The Rolling Stones also had a song called Sympathy for the Devil. Bing, 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 bing. False friend. Oh, yeah. Alert. Yeah. Sympathy vuol dire compassione, non vuol dire simpatia. Simpatia è... Uh, well, una persona simpatico è nice. L'aggettivo mm. più robusto che esiste in inglese perché nice può essere qualsiasi cosa positivo. The, the, how's the coffee? It's nice. Mm. Uh, Come era la pasta? How was the pasta? It was nice. Uh, oh, she's nice. Lei è carina. He, uh, uh, qui è molto nel tono. Cosa intendi? Oh, she's nice. That's cool, lei è carina, no? Buona. Uh, she's a nice girl, è simpatica, sempre nice. Mm. Anyway, sympathy for the devil, compassione per il diavolo. Um, because the next one is between the devil Ooh. and the deep blue sea. Mm? Tra il diavolo e il mare profondo blu. Che vuol dire tra due situazioni difficili. Se fai così, non va bene. Se fai così, non va bene. I'm between the devil and the deep blue sea. O come dice Bart Simpson, uh, I'm damned if, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Mm. We forgot the Americanisms, by the way. Oh, yeah. Stiamo dimenticando che ogni tanto... Well, actually, I was like, here, there is actually... We say in English, when you say the devil and the deep blue sea, Uh, it's quite an English expression, but there's a similar one, American one, which is between a rock and a hard place. And a hard place. I was thinking which about Which means, it. what's that in Italian? Sono tra una roccia e un posto duro. Which, it's non ha senso, thing. isn't it? It's no, sort of, it's just the same it's, thing. Yeah. You know? it's, it's, sono tutti e due duri, freddi e difficili. Yeah. Two, two um, situations, and neither one is really very good, is it? No. Il diavolo... Che so, ha diversi nomi, no? E io non ho mai capito in realtà le differenze. Because you have mm. de the devil, mm. Satan, mm. Satana, Lucifer, Lucifero, Beelzebub, yeah. has a devil put, put aside, aside for me. me. Beelzebub, quattro nomi. Cioè il yeah. diavolo ha più nomi di Prince. Yeah. It's got Jeff. more names than Jeff. Prince. Che, the artist formerly known as the devil. Um, What's the difference? That's a good question. C'è il postino in, in del diavolo è molto confuso, no? Eh? <laughs> Can you imagine being the devil's postman? What? I got so Beelzebub, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Okay, Satan. That's yeah. me. Uh, Beelzebub. <laughs> yeah, that's me. It's all for him. Can I just say, you heard it here first, The Devil's Postman. <laughs> the Devil's Postman. That's the new novel by Stephen King coming yeah. soon, isn't it? The yeah. Devil's Postman. The Devil's Post Box. So, between the Devil, a.k.a. Yeah. Lucifer, a.k.a. Beelzebub, yeah. a.k.a. Satan, uh, and the Deep Blue Sea. To be in seventh heaven. Settimo cielo in italiano. Settimo paradiso in um, uh, inglese. I'm, she's in seventh heaven. È lo stesso cosa di to be on cloud nine. No? Um, I wonder where these came, came from, you know, because, like, what's cloud nine? Do you know? I have no idea. I mean, seventh heaven, which is the sixth heaven? I'm, I'm just heaven? thinking, for that one, no, it's possible. I'm, no, I'm not a, an Italian literature expert. No, you amaze me. Yeah. <laughs> But it, it might be the Divina Commedia. So why is it on your CV, then? Well, you know. <laughs> Robert Dennis, business teacher, Italian literature. Expert. Um, it might be Dante. It really? could be uh, Dante because in Paradiso, there's like different uh, levels mm. of heaven. I don't know, but Cloud Nine is a really strange one. Cloud Nine. <laughs> We have no idea. If anyone knows, send us. Put a message at the bottom of the YouTube video. Uh, if you know, <coughs> if you don't know, put a message. Put a message. In one of these videos, I encouraged you to... Um, oh, scusa, Davide ha fatto... 
<laughs> you, 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 you home, people at you home, home, you out there, uh, or on the bus or wherever yeah. you are. I encourage you, I ho detto di fare qualche esempio voi sotto, e tanti hanno fatto esempi in italiano. Do. We know you know them in Italian. Yeah. Try to use some of these idioms and create a new phrase in English, put them underneath, and if there are any particularly good examples, I will um, give you a book. Not my book, any book. Oh, okay. that one. Oh, okay. okay, so. I love this one. This is good. I'm a dog lover. Amanti dei cani. Cani. Uh, abbaiare. Can you bark? Um, Come on, try. Uh, uh, That's not barking. Uh, <laughs> That's Maria Di Filippi. I was going to say, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Oh, 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 oh. That's a very <laughs> veterinario subito. Se tuo cane sta fa così. Pa però il ladro yeah, yeah. le becchi they're subito. Can you imagine? Got, got, viene got il ladro. Oh, 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 oh. The Neapolitan. Oh, oh, oh. Allora. Go on, mate. Concentrate. Focus. I don't know. Focus. Focus. How can I concentrate? Yeah, right. To bark up oh. the wrong tree. Yeah. Se un cane sotto un albero, uh, però in realtà il gatto è nell'altro. Uh, se tu, mi, se, se tu uh, ce l'hai con me, ma in realtà io non c'entro niente, è lui che devi parlare. You're barking up the wrong tree. Do you want to give him another example? Yeah, okay. So imagine um, that your friend sees you with. Um, uh, his girlfriend, this is an example, right? So he sees you at the shops and he says, Hi, oh, hey, I saw you. I saw you with my girlfriend. Yeah? yeah. What, were, what were you doing? Why, why were you, you know, is there, some, is there something going on? And you say, Listen, you're barking up the wrong tree, okay? Because we were going to buy you a surprise present for your birthday. Hmm. Huh. So it means you've got the effect. There, now, there's a similar expression in English, which is you've got the wrong end of the stick, of the stick which means, in Italian... I presume granchio. They say you've... Um, you've taken a crab. You've caught a crab. You've caught a crab, haven't you? Yeah, instead of fish. Idioms. Pazzo, aren't they? These are really strange, aren't no. they, where these idioms come from. So this is similar. It means... Um, you have misinterpreted the situation. Your interpretation of the situation is wrong. You are barking up the wrong tree, or you've got the wrong end of the stick. And you can remember that, because if you think about dogs, yeah. when you throw the stick, mm -hmm. they catch the stick, don't they? So barking up the wrong tree, wrong end of the stick, mm -hmm. there's a dog connection here on the John Peter Sloan YouTube and there's a dog barking. Can you hear that? No, I don't see anything at all. There we go. Ecco. Thank you. <laughs> Give them that. <laughs> allora, una cosa molto difficile di mandare giù. Prendo l'esempio di Robert, dai. You find out, to find out, scoprire, uh, you find out that your husband or wife or girlfriend or boyfriend is uh, seeing someone else. Mm. Um, the news is a bitter pill to swallow. Mm. È una pastiglia amaro da ingoiare. A bitter pill? to swallow, something you don't want to hear, some news that you don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. it's a bitter swallow. A bitter yeah. pill. And it's a difficult to accept. Trump becoming president for me was a bitter pill to swallow. Not just for you, John. Because Not it, just for you. It, it, honestly, when someone like Donald Trump, all right, non è giusto che io dico mio, you know, I don't normally speak about religion or politics because it's a, 
uh, a can of worms, è una lattina di verme mm. si dice in inglese, If se apri una lattina di verme è un casino. Mm. You know, I don't usually comment on politics or religion, yeah. but, you know, I, with Trump, I, I, I think most people, most people who watch these videos are intelligent. Yep. Stupid, ignorant people don't, are they're not, not watch, interested not them. in improving their English. So all the Trump yeah. fans yeah. don't watch these videos. So, ci andiamo abbastanza sicuro, secondo me. Now, someone will write in YouTube, oh, I love Trump, and we will... In, in inglese si dice block you immediately no fucking problem allora <laughs> although we do believe in freedom of expression no we don't everyone's don't, opinion nah. is Io valid io blocco nel film mi sono rotto le balle di stupidi gente I'll tell you what if Donald Trump is watching this we've got a message for you do you want to do your impersonation of Donald Trump go on I'm not very good at doing Donald Trump so, yeah, lo fai sempre dopo due bicchieri di vino not in this hat um, what is our message our message for Donald Trump is You are... No, no, don't go on to the next one. <laughs> wait, wait. You're on. barking up the wrong tree. Can we use that one for Donald Trump? No, we can't. No. Right. Don't confuse them, please. Okay. Allora, to beat your head. Beat. Spattere. Beat, scritto beat, it means different things. Um, that's the beat. That was good. What was, wasn't it? What was that from? I've just, just made it up. Yeah, so the, to make up, inventare, I just made it up. That's like the, what they call the, the human beatbox, don't they? Do you know what? It's weird because all my examples are, are, are from Freddie Mercury. Because I'm thinking, bum ba da ba ba da bum ba da ba down, 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 down. All we hear is Radio Gaga. Radio Not even Freddie Mercury. Brilliant. Anyway. Great song. Yeah, so the beat. Yeah. Okay, that's the beat. The beat. The beat to beat uh, to beat up phrasal verb uh, picchiare, menare. Uh, to beat e battere. Uh, Milan AC Milan beat Sassuolo 3-0, for example. Ho scelto Sassuolo because if I say inter ah, yeah, no, no. quando mai. But if you're watching in Sassuolo <laughs> Sassuolo, sì, yeah, yeah. perché è di Sassuolo, dai, e sono andato su sicuro. Yeah. People from Sassuolo. We like Sassuolo. It's very nice, I like yeah. Sassuolo perché è un esempio di una squadra piccola che è David and Goliath. Kind yeah, of oh, thing, very good. Yeah? Yeah. So, to beat your head, spattere la testa contro il muro. I like this. Uh, um, not, Should we demonstrate? Should we do this? Allora, spattere la testa yeah. contro il muro. In English, let me do the whole thing, okay? Yeah. The best thing about beating your head against the wall is I don't know. when you stop. Oh! Um, le, 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 a me piace, e lo uso ogni tanto, la miglior cosa di spattere la testa contro il muro in continuazione è quando ti fermi. Ora, everybody knows someone. Dai! Siamo amici ormai, no? We all know, adults, we all know someone, a woman, usually, who falls in love with a married man. We've all known someone who's done this, right? And we all know that it always ends in tears. It never ends well, the, you know, these affairs with married mm. women, mm. okay? Uh, uh, married men. Um, and the man usually has the same banal excuses. Oh, well, I'll leave my, her when my children grow up. Mm. Or, uh, oh, well, she'll, commit, she'll kill herself if I leave. Or all these rubbish, you know. Anyway, and whenever I've had female friends who say to me, oh, but I love him, and I always think, oh, God. And I always say, listen, the best thing about beating your head against a brick wall is when you stop. Che vuol dire? Invece di farti male, continuazione, continuazione. Perché finché tu spatti la testa contro il muro, non senti dolore. Lo senti, però spatti, spatti. Quando ti fermi, ti viene un mal di testa incredibile, ma passa, passa. And then you can live in peace. Mm. Mm? See? You don't just get English with me yeah, wrong. Very philosophical. You get, you get philosophy yeah. and advice. <laughs> ecco. Good advice.
Can I just say there, as a little language point, you can say beat, beat your head against the wall. You can also say to bang your head. Sometimes okay. we say bang yeah. your head against the wall. That's right, yeah. And on that point, it just made me think of um, headbanger. Uh -huh. A headbanger, headbanger. tutto attaccato, e metallaio, metallario. Yeah. Who, Heavy uh, metal. Quel, quel ballo che ha fatto lavorare tantissimi neurologi. The guy that, the, the, the dance that uh, I think was promoted by the, the neuroscientists, they made a lot of money out of headbangers. I think so. Molto, it's very stupid that, well, no, no, no. it's very, very stupid. Uh, later in life, you, um, you, you could have problems. You, can, can, you, you can. can. Yeah, you could, yeah. Mm. So don't, hey, kids, don't, don't bang your head. Don't smoke and don't bang your head like your dad. Okay, do your young people's dancing. Um. <laughs> Bo, I can't explain it. Another one, please. Can't explain it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, behind closed doors. Ooh. Robert, give him an example, as simple as you can, though, right? Okay. But Let's... Io non ti seguivo l'altra volta. Okay. Um, we are British, and can I get slightly political, but not, not <laughs> slightly on board. Not part. I'm not going to talk about party politics, but there is there is a thing happening at the moment in Britain and Europe, which is that we are in negotiations about Brexit, which you may have heard of, and Britain is leaving the European Union. We don't want to go. We want to stay, but. <laughs> the majority, we, yeah, the majority of people have said no. We want to go, so there's going to be a big. No, 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 no. Thirty-seven percent wanted Brexit. Um, Thirty-seven percent of the population. Most people didn't vote. This is the problem. Oh, okay, but, all right. But you, you know, know, the people who did stupid, vote. Yeah, so really stupid. It's democracy. You know, we have to accept the will of the majority. Yeah. Now, the a lot of the discussions for the Brexit negotiation. Ah, ding, 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 ding. False friend alert. Do you know which one? Which Let's word? do it. Discussion. Discussion. Perché in italiano discussione è, è, is, an, is an argument, ding, ding, ding again, yeah. litigine, lite. Discussion in inglese non è litigare mai. It's only mm. just uh, discussion, it's just a... Discorso. Discorso, yeah. sì, bravo. Non litigare. Ok, yeah. vai avanti. So what's happening is there are these negotiations between uh, Britain and Europe, the European Union. And um, some of these negotiations will be behind closed doors. So that means that some of these discussions will be in private. Secret. They'll be secret. Um, and so if you say behind closed doors, it means in private, in secret, usually for decisions or deals um, or agreements. We don't know what's said behind closed doors. Mm. Often people say, you know, who knows what they will decide behind closed doors. Mm. Tra di loro, senza yeah. informare noi. Do you want my opinion on Brexit? Yeah, let's talk about Brexit. Okay. What's your opinion? My honest, honest opinion. Yeah. I don't care. I really don't. I'll tell you why. Um, because I live... I think it's stupid, but it's a type of stupid or no? kissing a flag. I see a ranch, you know. I live in Sicily, you live in Sicily. Mm. Uh, and then what, you know, for example, on the social media, a lot of English people who live in Italy wrote to me, said, John, you have to tell the English people uh, that you know to vote on Brexit, perché si poteva. Adesso non mi ricordo se si poteva o no. Volevano votare su Brexit. And I said no, because, allora, I don't vote on what happens in England, because I don't live there. I think that only the people who live there should be able to vote on England's future, first of all. Secondly, I think it's ridiculous, stupid. I think that it was a lot of English people are living in the past. Um, and uh, the pagano cavoli loro. Io sono qua. That's my opinion. 
I've no idea how I would translate Sierrangelo. Um, let them sort themselves out. Ah, very good. Phrasal verb. Yeah, I think. to sort out. Yeah. The most important phrasal verb yeah. to sort out. Yeah. Uh, sort out for the sistemare, yeah. organizzare, mettere yeah. a posto, procurare, un yeah. sacco di cose. Sort out. Exactly. Mm. E nel mio libro da zero, se vuoi vedere di più. Anyway, dai. Okay. So, uh, behind browsers. Yeah. Ah, il prossimo te lo canto. I bit off more than I can chew. Quello che tutti... Uh, I think 90% of men, anzi, 90% of male funerals have this song oh. at the funeral. My dad had this song. Oh. I know a lot of, uh, uh, I knew a lot of people who had this song at the funeral. It's a um, popular My Way di Frank Sinatra. C'è una parte della canzone che dice And I bit off more than I can chew. To bite off more than you can chew. Uh, uh, to bite off. Prendere come cazzo un animato. Prendere tra i denti più che puoi masticare vuol dire assumere troppo carico um, troppo a, a prendere la, a, a, troppo responsabilità eh, e non riesci so to bite off more than you can chew prendi un pezzo così non riesci a masticarlo hai, hai, hai preso troppo carico responsibility mm. do you want to give me an example yeah definitely um If you said, for example, um, I agreed to help my brother who is moving house, so <coughs> can, can be a casa, and he's got a lot of furniture, he's got a lot of things in his house, and I went with my car, but in fact, we needed a big lorry and camion, and the truth is, I bit off more than I could chew. Se, I did not, I was not successful in helping questo. him. Passato yeah. questo, pass, pass simple. Yeah. Now, just for the te il tempo verbale, because yeah. to bite off more than you can chew, solitamente si parla, reported, you know, yeah. uh, di una cosa che hai fatto prima, quindi I bit off more than I could chew. Yeah. You bit off more than you could chew. Yeah. Well. Can we just go back there, just say that I was talking about my way, which uh, you mentioned, and that is, I agree with John, that is a fantastic song. And it's one of those songs where it's worth looking at the lyrics. Maybe one day we'll do a video of the lyrics of My Way, because it is a great song. Um, and now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll state my case. Oh, I forgot, mate. Da, Thank da, da. God. <laughs> What? What's the line? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, Anche which... il funerale così. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. But we, we've got to say, when people sing that at funerals, I think you said 90% of They people have They don't sing it that. at funerals. They put it on the okay, radio. Okay, but the thing is, if you, people, 90% of the time that song is sung, the people singing it are actually uh, completely drunk. Do you know what song... <laughs> What song, Go. do you know what song I want played at my funeral? No. Going Underground. <laughs> By The Jam. You have to explain that, explain that one, yeah? And on my gravestone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's got very dark, hasn't it? <laughs> Go on. And on my gravestone, yeah. I want, this is not my <laughs> I told you I was ill. I want that on my gravestone. 